Far to the east lies the Middle Kingdom, the homeland of great thinkers and incredible artists. The land of mighty rivers, majestic mountains, and mysterious forests. The legendary temple of South Shaolin first appeared here hundreds of years ago. Its inhabitants perfected their ancient techniques for centuries, training the body, mind, and soul every day. Fearless monks defended the temple from both ruthless bandits and the terrible forces of darkness. But their greatest challenge was the invasion of the Wuku, pirates from the east who landed on the country's southern shores. When the government, mired in corruption, was unable to withstand the enemy's assault, the Shaolin monks decided to break their own rules and help. Joining forces with the Imperial Army, the monks managed to defeat the Wuku troops at the cost of many of their own lives. Victorious, the monks returned to their monastery and life went back to normal in the coastal towns. However, for the young fisherman Wei Cheng and his village, trouble followed trouble, seemingly without end. And it's again in less than a month. I must find Grandfather. He probably went to fight them on his own again. Go at once. You are no match for them. Oh, you bastard! Wei Chung lay bleeding to death in the middle of his plundered village. This was how our story would have ended if the Buddhist monks hadn't arrived in time. 
Making a stretcher out of their staffs, they placed Wei Chung on it and carried him for several days until they finally reached one of the local fortified houses. You have awoken at last. I am glad that my potions were able to help, for you were barely breathing when they brought you here. Who are you? How did I end up here? We are the monks of South Shaolin. I am Master Zhong Fei. On my left is Master Guan Li, the leader of our group, and Master Xuan Pai, his right-hand man. You are in our camp in an abandoned Tulu, not far from your village. Our scouts found you among the ruins and brought you here. Thank you. My name is Wei Chang. My grandfather was beside me in the village. Did he survive? I am sorry. We arrived when it was all over, and the village was nothing but a smoking ruin. You were the only survivor. Monsters. I will hunt them down and kill each and every one of them. Do you really think that these are normal bandits? We are sorry to bring you such sad news, but at least you are safe now. You are recovering quickly and will be able to return to your relatives soon. Do you have somewhere to go? I lost my parents when I was still a child, and my grandfather raised me. The rest of my family lived in the same village. Fate has been harsh to you, Wei Chang. We will wait until you are fully healed and then decide what to do. They cannot just toss you out onto the street. Hello, Wai Jin. My name is Lu Hai Bo. You don't look like a monk. Huh? <laughs> You're a sharp one. I am but a poor merchant, as well as the captain of the ship Sparrow Feather. We will meet the monks in the south, in the Fujian province. The same place where the Temple of South Shaolin is located? That's right. They needed a ship to get over to Zhenjiang. I didn't take any money for the service and ended up staying with them. I look after the weapons and help them get where they need to go. I don't have a crew right now, so the monks themselves are helping me sail the ship. The first combat sailors of Shaolin in the world. I guess you have some balls, lad, and you can stand up for yourself. However, you must start using your chi in combat. Follow me, and I will teach you how to achieve it. Let us start with focusing on the internal power within you. Try to feel how it flows within your whole body, filling every part of you. Now, go ahead with one of the strokes, but keep it slow. Try to get all of your energy in it. You're a quick study, Wei Chung, aren't you? Keep in mind that your power is limited, and it only fulfills during combat. Good job. Now you can either practice a bit more with Yin, or head back to Tulu. It seems like you have to deal with something there. Wei Chang, since you have almost fully recovered, I have a simple but very important request. Brother Zheng Lung has gone to the Temple of the Late Plum on Putuo Shan. We haven't heard from him in a while, and Lu Hai Bo is planning to sail after him. Can you help him? Of course. It is no bother. Plus, Master Zhong Fei told me that I need to move more. Thank you. That would be a huge help. You'll meet Zheng Lung at the same time. He's one of the best South Shaolin warriors. Thank you. 
I'll go and check the hold since we recently developed a rat problem. I will wait here for you. Who are you trying to trick, Beardy? You have boxes of wine down there, not rats. These are herbal potions. Hurry up. I want to leave before noon. Strange. The gates are broken. The temple has been attacked. We must find Jungle. This isn't a temple, it's a pile of useless crap. Well, did you morons find it? We've gone through everything, even the toilets, but it's nowhere to be found. Shit. Finish off the monks and this lowlife, then burn this place down. Who are you calling a lowlife? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Shi Chenglong? That's right. You must be the fisherman. Yes. My name is Wei Chong. Shi Guan Li has sent me and Liu Hai Bo to get you. Looks like this hawk has beaten the crap out of you. That was only round one. However, I must admit that their leader, despite fighting with the grace of a drunk pelican, possesses superhuman strength. Quick, let's head to the ship before Li Hai Bo starts complaining again that we're dawdling. Zheng Long, did you find out anything? The monks themselves haven't heard anything, but the Wuku still left behind a few hints. It seems that at least two clans are operating in this region. Red Clan, which attacked Wei Chung's village, and Green Clan, which we confronted just now. We don't yet know if they are connected. Wait, wait! Did you say Wuku? That's right. Japanese pirates have reappeared on the shores of the Middle Kingdom, although their attacks are still very infrequent. But you had crossed the Wuku five years ago. I thought my village was attacked by just another band of brigands who dressed up as pirates to scare people. They've done that before. I don't care if they're bandits or another Wuku invasion. I want to help you fight them. First, it's too early to talk about a full-scale invasion. There are different theories about what is happening, and our group was sent here to find the answer. Second, if we need help with fishing, we will be sure to call for you. Fishing? Hey, I fight better than you do. Yeah, pull the other one. How would a simple fisherman know how to fight? Staff fighting was a skill passed down through the generations in my family, as well as fishing. Grandfather didn't have time to teach me everything, but it was enough to defend our village from bandits. It'll certainly be enough to knock the teeth out of those filthy pirates. I've seen him fight, Guan Li. His technique is weak, but he has enough strength and endurance for two, I'll give him that. Plus, you know yourself that few survive with such wounds as his. As much as I respect our teacher, there is more at work here than infusions. And he can kill a pirate by grabbing him by the mustache. What if the pirate doesn't have a mustache? They killed my whole family and destroyed my home. Give me a chance to get even. Fine. An extra staff won't hurt. Come back when you are ready. I have a few tasks for you. I won't let you down.
projects anyway, and the Wuku wouldn't have taken them as hostages. It means that they managed to escape into the forest. It is safe to return. The Wuku won't dare attack this sawmill again. The Wuku have occupied a small village north of here. According to reports, the same red mask swordsman who wounded Zhang Lung also led the attack. I thought masks were only worn on holidays. Every day is a holiday for that cutthroat. Silence, you idiots. Zhang Lung and Wei Cheng, you will come with me to free the village. The plan is simple. The village is surrounded by a thick bamboo forest, which we will use to sneak up to it. Once we reach the edge of the forest, we will draw closer together. If you meet the leader, wait for the others. Do not engage. It shall be done. Certainly, my general. Oh, why did I take you dorks with me? As soon as we are back, you are going off to meditate for two days and think about your inappropriate quips.
nobody would ever come to my aid. Thank you. You'll have to hire some burly guys with weapons. What is the Emperor doing about all this? I did this to them. Another bothersome peasant coming to get revenge for his dishonored sister? <laughs> you haven't even pissed yourself in fear like the others. Do you always talk this much, or only when you're about to die? How daring! I like it! I'm about to add another head to my collection. Come on, Pipsqueak! Show me how you wave your hoe about!
beheaded one of the Wuku gang and forced them to flee. I'm afraid that this is only the beginning, so don't let your guard down. You were a great help, Wei Chung. Well done. This doesn't cancel out the fact that he engaged their leader without waiting for us. I gave you clear instructions, fisherman, and you disobeyed me. And you weren't here, and he could have escaped. We had completely surrounded the village, so he had nowhere to run. That was the whole point of the plan. There is great power inside you, Wei Chung, but it is held back by your rage and hunger for revenge. I can take you under my wing and teach you everything that I know. But you must promise to obey Master Guan Li and I, and not let anger control you. All right, I promise. Our heroes didn't get to celebrate their victory for long. The Red Wu Ku clan, which had disappeared after attacking Wei Chung's village, suddenly reappeared in the south of the province. Teams led by the warrior in a white mask swept through the helpless villages, leaving behind only smoking ruins and mounds of ash.